dear brothers, it's such a privilege for me to be here. And I, especially after these words of sharing from the Dennis's heart and from Lord's heart, it's difficult to tell whatever, because when there was uh, a question if uh, we are glad that we could be here and if we are, we are changed, so I was lifting both my hands. Uh, I would like to introduce me, uh, to you as well my precious friends, brothers in Christ, Pastor Zian and Pastor Pavel. Would you like to know them as well a little bit? Come, brothers, yeah. Uh, these are my closest brothers, not only because of regional aspect, but because of the fact that we uh, are together, we work together. Pastor Jan uh, is a pastor in the church where I am preaching elder, and uh, we are for since our youth friends and uh, uh, co-workers in the calling which the Lord gave us. Uh, pastor Jan uh, is as well... Uh, major in the, uh, his ministry, what he is doing in the prison administration. He coordinates uh, Protestant prison ministry in 18 prisons of Slovakia. So it's great that the Lord has opened to our local church uh, as well ministry to uh, prisoners. And it's something what we sense that it's God's preparation of things which he has in his heart. Uh, yeah, uh, and he is as well a district superintendent in uh, Eastern Slovakia of Apostolic Church. Pastor Pavel is gift of God to me because in 2008 he returned back as a pers from England to Slovakia as a person who was reached for Christ through Jesus' army. And when people, uh, Gypsy people, Romani people, were returning back home. So he had a heart of a shepherd, of pastor. So he was sent to take care for those who left England because they will die in the difficult uh, conditions of Roma settlements in Slovakia where almost 100 people are without job. They are living only on welfare, not because they do not want to work, but because of their life conditions. It happened that there is no work for them because they are low qualified and other things which I will not talk about. So they returned back and they were seeking who will be ready to receive us, gypsy people, to the fellowship. And as they were looking and uh, Jesus Army people were looking as well that who could uh, open for fellowship, so Lord brought them to our local church. And in between, they became a, a church uh, because uh, Pentecostals are doing ministry among uh, Romani people. And even by now, we have seven registered uh, Romani churches. God is doing revival in Slovakia, especially among uh, gypsy people. And Pavel became my beloved brother. I was asked to help in administrative areas because he was not experienced in many things. So we became brothers as well, not uh, uh, because uh, of the formal ties, but because of hard relations. And uh, if I am to tell something about the situation in Slovakia, so we are grateful that God has in his art, heart our country. Uh, many times through po prophetic word, uh, God was talking that he wants to uh, bring revival to our country and he decided that he will start in our region. Our region is uh, uh, northeast uh, region and we have a Pearl High Tatras. It's like smallest Alps in uh, the region, beautiful mountain, rocky uh, mountain. So people love that area. And God decided that he will send revival. He will send the fire to that region, which will spread not only throughout the country, but it will go even further to another regions. And we are praying. Faithfully, we are laboring for that, but that when that time will come, let we are prepared. 
And I'm so grateful for a book which we got yesterday. I started to read it, and it's about the revival. It's about principles which we are really to uh, embrace, to live uh, according to them. And God is answering even things which are beyond our imagination. In our city, we had a leadership which was really more mafia-type leadership, not really uh, friendly to the Christians. And we started to pray, Lord, change the situation. And do you know what happened? We had communal election in November 2014. And in the course when people are running for the offices, it happened that Three men came to my office and they were seeking advice, they wanted to talk. And one of them became the mayor of the community and the other two became vice mayors of the community. So uh, this Wednesday we were with uh, Pastor Jan and Pastor Rudolf, another pastor, in the office of first vice mayor. We were discussing some issues which are needy and at the end there was such an openness to pray for the vice mayor. And as we were leaving, he told, oh, how I feel, how blessed I feel. So uh, uh, pray for us, brothers. Uh, may the Lord will really lead us and guide us. And I'm so happy, Dennis, that I could be here. Thank you for the invitation. Since I met you in Sheffield, <laughs> I fell in love, and I would be ready to tell you, I love you, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, we are so glad that uh, even first time we are in the fellowship of brothers here, but uh, God uh, joined us with David Hathaway. He was preaching in our community in uh, 2009, and Cyril came as well in that year to the country, and God really brought uh, love, friendships, the sense of joint ministries, and even we are here as well for the sake to discuss uh, David's uh, evangelistic campaigns in our region, and uh, Cyril is coming each year with Ralph and uh, other people to help us, especially in uh, uh, the Romani settlement. So we are so glad that God is uh, doing his work and that he brought us here. And I will pray that next year God will give us opportunity to pray together again. <laughs> Because it's such a blessing for me. Uh, I felt really not burned out, but tired because of many things which were going up. But by returning home, filled with the love. I was confessing my love to my wife even uh, this morning and yesterday. I love you, darling. And she was uh, happy to hear that. And she thought, I will be waiting you at the airport. <laughs> so thank you that we could be here. And... Uh, I would like only to tell Lord, thank you so much for bringing us here. Thank you, Lord, for pouring your love into our hearts. Thank you for renewing your vision. Thank you for showing us your goodness, your mercy, your grace, your uh, steadfast love, Lord. Thank you for giving us fellowship, for broadening the fellowship. Thank you for family. Thank you that we could live together for your glory. Hallelujah. And thank you that you will fulfill your purposes in our lives. It's about you, precious Lord. It's not about us. So thank you that you have begun new things and you will accomplish them. To you be the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.